Hey everybody, I'm Phil and this is Everything Spicy. How are you doing this evening? So it's kind of late. Oh, hey, wandering veteran, your first year. How you doing, man? <laughs> oh man, I was taking a gander. Steph is here. How are you doing, Steph? S.H. Mominy. I was taking a look at everybody that's um, live right now. I'm thinking, oh crap, I ain't gonna get anybody in here. But I can see my friends have already uh, got almost 10 people in the room. So how you doing? Jadzia Dax, how are you? Brad, how are you doing, buddy? Uh, Beth Baclaw, how are you? One of my new friends, how are you doing? Rebel Jack is here, how are you doing, Rebel Jack? Taglosh Vlog is here, how are you? Southern Farming Kitchen, Cat, how are you? Jensen Snow, how are you, man? Jeremy, Ken Peppers and Kentucky Living, how are you doing, man? Uh, Wandering Veteran, you are awesome, thanks so much. You and Beast helped me make my most viewed video ever. That's awesome, man. That is very, very cool. Brad, uh, Jensen Snow, hopefully you can return the support. Oh, absolutely. Uh, well, maybe I need to look at um, what I have and haven't done. So Jensen Snow, so thanks for saying something because I, I believe I uh, subscribed to almost everybody that watches me. So I, I'm going to have to take a look. So, all right. So just to uh, see some other people get in here. What's, um, what's up? Greg Lemon from Uncapped Films is here. How you doing, Greg? Oh, the champ is here. That would be Greg Lemon. That's not me. That's Greg. That's not me. <laughs> he goes by the champ. And then, of course, there's Mark's Ark Aquarium. Fish on. I have to go. Just stopping by. All right. Cool, man. NFL boy Brandon is here. How you doing, NFL boy Brandon? Um, I did get that um, letter mailed out yesterday. So your sticker, your letter and whatnot is on its way. So, matter of fact, anybody that has sent me an email and hasn't received a letter or a sticker yet, they are on their way. So, um, again, they're the one the people that were Canadian, theirs was delayed a little bit just because I had to go inside and actually get international stamps. So, brave for the farmers in Wyoming. Hail has destroyed acres and acres of Hagon. I was not, I was not aware of that Southern Farming Kitchen cat. Um, so. Everybody, take a second. All right. Um, so yeah, that anybody that's got uh, a crop or anything uh, that is ever destroyed, I mean that's that's their money. You know, I I, I go by a bank every day that says uh, if you work a job that's not uh, measured in hours but is measured in acres, you might be a farmer. Far, when when this happens to farmers, man, nobody's paying them. So Megan Lockhart, how are you doing? We'll pray. We will. Uh, blended whiskey. How are you? Hot sauce RO. How are you? Wow. Thank you guys. I'm seeing a lot more people in here than I expected with everything that's going on today, all the different lives, but I'm glad you guys are here. I'm super farming is a career of faith. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't want to compare. Yeah. I, I won't even compare what I do because again, you know, you have up and downs and anything that you do. So, um, but yeah, uh, farming is definitely, you know, you know, you can have a bad year, you can, you can have a catastrophe like hail and it take out a bunch of your stuff. So, yeah, that is this that is devastating. And I was not aware of that. I was busy all day at work um, when I wasn't busy. Um, for, you know, I was on here. Hit that. Uh, I was on here. Um, so I was unaware of um, the tragedy that was there. So um, I do appreciate you all coming in. So what we're doing today is we're doing an unboxing. Jimmy Pickles is here. How you doing, Jimmy? Um, peppers are growing over here. So Derek versus is here. How you doing Derek Boston? Everybody check out Derek but versus. So, um, yeah. So last night I got home, was not ready to do this, but, uh, tonight I am. And that is, I got a pet, a package for my good. It's to make DJ Mike TV. How are you doing? man? <laughs> Brad Muglite evening to you. Um, yeah, this package is from Ontario, Ohio. One thing, no, I'm out here talking to people that you just got to drive by, use the road like it's meant for them or something. I don't know. So, yeah, so a package from Brad. Now, I ordered something, but I don't know if this is what I ordered. I didn't order anything from Brad. I ordered it from the whole, I guess it comes from Brad. Brad puts together the final course along with Roger. Phil, are you under attack? I know, right? Are you talking about the bugs or are you talking about the car that just went by? 
the bugs are out here. Of course, you, it's nighttime, right? You turn on a light, and what happens? The bugs show up. So, so yeah, I got a package here. You, me, and Benny. How are you doing? Fantastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Seeing people come, showing up, still showing up. So, all right. So, what I want to do is I want to open this up. Uh, I wanted to open it up so I made sure that Brad was here because I'm sure, you know, Brad wants to see, you know, if I send somebody something, if they're going live, I want to make sure I'm seeing it. If they're recording it, that's fine. But if they're going live, I want to see it. So I uh, can't wait to see what is what it is. And I got an idea of what it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Matter of fact, when he told me he was sending me something because uh, he had to get my address again, I wasn't quite sure, but I'm pretty sure I had an idea. Uh, I know what it is. Uh, <laughs> I bet you do, Brad. Ah, oh, so my handy dandy knife here to look things up. All right. Excuse me. It's like Christmas. All right. Well, you wrapped this sucker up good, didn't you? The Scorpion King is here. How you doing, Scorpion King? Good to see you. I mean, the Scorpion King became friends today, so very cool. Of course, now this is making all sorts of racket. All right. So, for those of you who don't know, um, Brad Muglot, spelt Maglot, but pronounced Muglot, is a is a jack of all trades. He makes uh, candy bars. He uh, grows peppers. He makes peppers in the pepper dust. Rob Schaller is here. How are you doing? He he is and on top of everything else that he does, he makes knives. Um. So yeah, I thought maybe the chocolate was in here. This is cool. This is what I want. This is I owe you, bro. I owe you big time. So. What he does is he hand makes these knives. You can see the beautiful woodwork on the handle. Now, one thing I, I know with Brad is that this is a sharp son of a gun. Hey, Beth Baclaw, how are you doing? One of my new friends. This is gonna be sharp as heck. Brad knows how to sharpen a knife and I'm not even gonna mess with that. If you look at the blade here, He's got his initials on there. It's backwards to me, so hopefully it's not backwards to you. Um, Bill, do not stick the knife in your mouth. Uh, exactly what you told me not to do, right? Isn't that sweet pepper knife? Exactly what it's going to be. This is going to be my knife from here on out. Whenever I do anything, hit that Rogan, Rogan up button, gentlemen. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, if you look, man, I mean, the craftsmanship of this young man what he can make i say young man he's younger than me but rena sanders is here how you doing rena thanks for stopping by so yeah he made a very so what i want to do is you know i have got a let's you know what, what, okay guys take a look at this and i'll take a look at this this knife for everything spicy is getting retired okay so this knife is officially Retired, official bow bow design, boo boo design. How are you today? So this knife is officially retired. So Alicia Kerwood, the AKA Rainbow Angel. How are you? Everybody check out Alicia Kerwood. Break this in. A what better way to break in a pepper knife than to? What's up, Joe W? Plays taps. Good one. I'm not gonna do it all, but I could. I could. That would that would that would take more time, and you know, but I'd lose probably lose people buffering. I'm not buffering. Am I buffering? Am I buffering? No. What the? Exactly right. Tap. So no. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. Matter of fact, look at the braided handle he put on here too. Look. Oh, I didn't notice that. So Brad on the handle has taken a looks like a casing from a nine mil or so, and he has braided this for the handle and put a casing. On the end, it looks like with a bead in the end. So that's very cool too. I hadn't really paid that close of attention to the other end. I was all concentrated on this end. Don't forget to smoke. Hey, 
Catfish. Where's Catfish? Catfish in here. I see Catfish Redneck. What's up, man? How you doing? So, yeah. Thank you very much, Brad. So, I do have some peppers headed my way from Townsend Chili and Spice. I bought a new, um, I bought a new bag of them or a new box of them. I wanted to put them in a bag at some point in time. But now the ones that, what they had was unlabeled, okay? So the next one just come in, we won't have a label, we won't have pieces of tape on them. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna have to, based off of memory, <laughs> um, and we're just gonna play it by ear. But while we still have this, J Dubs Vlogs, how are you, man? Through the teeth, under the gums, look out, Tommy, here it comes. Well, yep. Chomp Blog is here. How you doing, Chomp Blog? Drew's Food Reviews here. I got my hat on, Drew's Food, but I don't, uh, <laughs> my hat's a little different than yours. Tara Telling TV is here. How you doing, Tara Telling? So very cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to randomly reach into the bag. I'm going to grab out a pepper. This one's good. And then we will tell you what it is based on the number that's on here. It's a number two. Number two is unknown. I think Maruga chocolate or brown. So number two on the list right there. And what it says on here is number two, pepper number two. Now, some of you are new. Some of you are gonna be like, oh, Phil, get beyond this already, would you? But some of you are new. I am going to open this pepper up and show you what's inside. Now, my friends here know, um, my friends here know that the uglier and nastier and the bumpier the pepper is, usually the hotter it is, right? So for you that are new, you didn't know that, now you know. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna move the computer back here a little bit so I got some cutting room here. All right, I'm gonna take my new uh, my new knife, I'm gonna de-stem this pepper, I'm gonna cut it open here. I'm into pain is here, how are you? I'm into pain. I'm gonna try to keep my fingers out of the way so I'm not into pain. Complainer had surgery, she needs a few days to recover. We're doing, we're doing a duet. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. So, sorry to hear your wife's not doing well. So, Miss, Miss, Mystic Rain, how are you doing? Saw you earlier today too. So, all right, we're gonna cut this. Oh, yeah. I told you, man, this thing is so sharp. Sherry McMillan is here. How are you doing, Sherry? I'm gonna set this knife over here because if the thing falls off, I don't want it falling on my foot. All right, so what we're gonna do, oh my goodness. All right. So one thing I didn't show you guys, go back to the knife. If you look at the end of the knife, you gotta get the right light on it. You can see the oils on the knife. That lets you know those oils are hot. Duh, right? Everybody should know, or you do now anyways. Um, in a pepper, you have the white part. The white part is called the placenta. The white part, so for you new people, the placenta is where all of your heat is. Uh, most of your heat is, all right? Um, a lot of people think it's the seeds, right? You guys, most of you guys have heard this before. The seeds are attached to the placenta. They get oils from the placenta on them, which makes them hot as well, but they are not where the heat originates from. The heat originates from the placenta. So the more of the white stuff that you see inside of the pepper, the hotter it's going to be. And of course, the type of pepper that it is obviously makes makes it hot as well. Um, eat the stem, I dare you. Really? It's even got tape on it. Look, it's got tape on it. Ah, no. Ah. Don't dare me. I'm like that little kid in school. You don't dare him to do something. <laughs> I didn't need it. So. Excuse me, that's gross. All right. No, I didn't, Sherry, as you can see. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take this bumpy, lumpy, placenta-filled pepper, and we're going to eat it. Simple enough, right? Another rude drive-by. There's something up here, not in Detroit. Real, no real drive-bys going on here. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm. Well, if you combine this video, Brad or uh, Greg, with my Fourth of July video, a drive-by is black, 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 right? Um, won't be long for me. I have five reapers about the size of a nickel in the garden. 
Yeah, I got some peppers going on right over here right now. So I like spicy. Chomp blog, how are you doing? Um, so we're starting off right now. Our burn on this for me is about a two. If you haven't watched me before and you're new here, um, I handle these better than most people. It's the Costanzas here. Um, a lot of people that you see eat the Carolina Reapers and things like that have not built up a tolerance. Their first, they go from thinking they like uh, that uh, jalapenos and habaneros are hot, and then they chomp down on a, Cal, a Carolina Reaper, and their entire day is messed up. And basically, I built up a tolerance. But I, what I do like to do is like show the people the pepper. I like to tell them I'm a I'm what they call a chili head, and I have a different tolerance. So a normal person, we kind of like to uh, grade out. I mean, for a normal person, I would think this pepper is probably an eight or a nine, and that is you know, outside of going into panic mode, which is what I consider a 10 to be panic mode, way too hot. Oh my God, run to the milk, run to the ice cream, all that stuff. To me, now to me right now, be honest with you, I'm at a two. So at a two, and it's not, doesn't seem to be climbing, so I'm just gonna pull it all another pepper, right? Did I say it's a Costanza is here? Did I say it's a Costanza is here? In case I didn't say it's a Costanza is here, it's a Costanza is here. It's a Costanza is a moderator for me. It's also a moderator for LA Beast, in case you didn't know. You know what? My buddy, I'm into pain, comes to my channel all the time. You, my friend, are blue. So, all right. So, we got another pepper here. Let's keep this going. Why not? Pepper burp. Uh, Lefty Trinidad vlog or Letty. Trinidad Vlogs is here. How you doing, Letty? I did I did pick up some new friends today. So Bike Tutorials is here. How you doing, Bike Tutorials? Pine Beeble is here. Hugs from UK. Awesome. Got lots of UK friends. That's great. If you're in the UK, though, that means it's really, really late there. So I'm glad you're still up. So because here it is uh, 10, 16. So I'd imagine there it's like 1 o'clock in the morning. If I'm not mistaken, I mean, I could be mistaken. I could be, you guys could be, but I, I believe that, yeah, you, this is just me babbling because this is what I do. I am not um, time different. So see, wait till you do the doom wings, Phil. Ruined my whole night and morning. That's why I've kind of held, held out. I'm doing the doom wings. I'm going to do, no, actually, the doom is probably going to wind up in my two times spicy ramen noodles. I'm going to make those things. And I'm going to put doom in there. I don't know how much of it I'm going to put in there. I want to think I can put the whole bottle in there. But I think if I put the whole bottle in there, I think it'll mess me up completely. But I figure, what, if Roger can put, you know, Mad Dog 357 plutonium, you know, little Phil here might be able to handle some right-handed doom. Phil doing another premiere tomorrow. I hope to see this money there tomorrow. Well, another premiere. I don't do premieres. Oh, you're doing a premiere. Okay. So you're doing a premiere. Hey, Derek versus, if you haven't checked out Derek versus, all you new people, Derek versus, good old boy. You hear that? I think you're in a cat fight across the street. I mean, real cats. Or cats and raccoons. I don't know. But, all right, let's 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 move on to the pepper. Because this, this pepper, this one in my mouth is gone. It's, you know, I'm down to like a 0.5. So, all right. So this is a number six. What did I say number six was? Number six is a seven pot. Um, Chaga, none, I don't know. Just read what number seven says. You tell me what it says. Actually, it's not number seven. It's number six. Sorry. Number six. All right. So number six. No. Damn. PG, Timmy, right? You don't do that. Don't do what? <laughs> Seven is hot as hot. All right. So, but they're, they're all hot, right? Uh, Jasmine's entertaining. How are you doing, Jasmine's entertaining? We're about to entertain you with another bumpy, ugly, super hot pepper. All right. So, again, we'll pull the stem off. We'll eat it. Um, there it goes. Um, again, I'm so, uh, no, I'm not doing that. Anyways. I'm a little out there, so what do we, who do we have here? Rebez QB. Hi, everything spicy. Watching from the Philippines. Welcome, Philippines. 
Welcome all over the Philippines. We have Thailand in here. We have Philippines in here. We have the UK in here. It's got to be late for you people. What are you guys like night owls? You you sleep during the day and you come out at night. Is that what you guys do over there? Is that what you guys are doing over there? So anybody else want to tell me where they're from? That's not from Mich the United States, just United States. You know, we're boring over here. We just, we are who we are. But it's kind of cool to see where some of these other people are from. Larry's D, Tanks and more. What's up, Larry D's? Um, all right, cool, cool. Um, I never sleep, Pine Beeble says. Never sleep. Well, you know, that's kind of bad. I try to sleep. I mean, you know, when I don't sleep, I get grumpy. And you've never seen me grumpy on here. The whole bottle don't. Just don't. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, man. You know, hey, you know, every, everything I do is kind of on a whim. It's kind of when I, like this tonight, it's kind of on a whim. Here I am. I'm going to do this. Here I'm going to do this. You know, I don't plan ahead. And I plan somewhat ahead. So what I put in my belly so I don't kill myself. Phil, you are marked me worried when you talk with the knife in your hand. <laughs> thank, thank you, Joe W., for your concern. So I appreciate it. This is a sharp knife. So all right. So now we're gonna we're gonna do a little surgery here on the pepper. One thing I do like about the knife is it is nice and sharp. All right. Holy crap. This one's even wetter than the last one. The knife, see a lot of oils on it, ton of oils, twice as wet as the last one. Oh boy, all right, everybody, hold on. I'm gonna, Joe, Joe, keep an eye on Joe W. You there? You paying attention? All right, I'm gonna set the knife over here, throw a knife in the air, and throw it up and cut it. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that. That that would be dangerous, Jeremy. That, that, that would probably that might that might get me in trouble, it might get me hurt too. I lost you. Uh oh. All right, I'm going to put the knife down. I'm going to put it over here so I'm safe. So, you know, in case I run into a super hot pepper, thank you for being in here. 29 people in here right now. So uh, if you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. Click the bell. If you haven't already clicked it, if you're subscribed and haven't clicked the bell, click the bell. Uh, if you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, hey, hit the thumbs up. That's great. So, because you hit the thumbs up, that means when someone else wants to watch this live and say all these thumbs up, be like, hey, you know, this might be interesting. This guy might be, actually be good. That might actually be good. <laughs> All right, so we have cut this open, and we have the inside of another pepper here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice pepper. Again, plenty of white placenta inside. They're more on the one side than the other. That side's got all the seeds and everything. Greg Lemon, eat it. I'll eat it in due time. In due time. I'm done to... I'm done to you host. I'm done you host. Okay, I don't know. I don't mean to throw a knife in my pepper. Oh, throw the pepper and then cut it with it like a like a, um like a with a samurai sword. Throw the pepper up. I don't think it's that sharp. And I, I don't think hope you're saving the seeds. No, I'm not saving the seeds. I got seeds saved inside the house, still on a paper plate from two weeks ago when I was saving the seeds. And they're still on a plate, still with magic marker on a plate telling you what kind of seeds they are. So I can put them away. Of course, when I, when I should be inside putting away seeds, I'm out here talking to you guys. So, and it's of course having a random paper plate with all these seeds with magic marker on it sitting in the breakfast bar in there, driving my wife nuts because she likes to have things you know put away and go. You know, I'm just a guy. I'm just. I'll take care of it eventually. I bet if that sharp, the pepper just ain't heavy enough. The peppy ain't, pepper ain't heavy enough. They aren't. They're, they're obviously peppers are pretty light in general. Derek, I'm sure it will be there tomorrow. It will be there tomorrow. Um, so, we saw the inside. Dun, dun, dun. We see the outside. Gross, ugly. <laughs> All right. Here we go again. One more. Nom, 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 nom. Bon appetit. <laughs> Deadhead, what's up? Now it's got about it. Hotter. Hot damn is here. How are we doing, Roger? <clears throat> Everybody say hi to Roger. I'm very good, Roger. Ah. 
Ooh, that's a good one. That one's hot. This one's going to, but this one's going to do what the last one didn't do, and that is continue to rise in heat in my mouth. Right now, uh, well, that's the throat, too. Oh, it's the throat. So this is one. Got a lot of burn on the tongue right now. Right on. Right now, it's a lot of burn on either side of the tongue. But unlike the last one, I can really feel this one. Uh, the fire in my throat on this one. Oh, man, that one is hot. Uh, so for my next trick. So here's what I was thinking about doing. What did you had? Are you talking to me, Roger? Um, so, so far, we've had two peppers, Roger. We had a an unknown pepper that they think was Maruga chocolate or Maruga brown. And then I just had a number six, which was a seven pot Chag Nunas chocolate. <clears throat> Be the Difference Clothing is here. How are you doing? Be the Difference Clothing. Good to see you. Wow. So, yeah, this one's climbing up to about a three right now on my mouth. So, I'm using my uh, new Ginsu night. Uh, notice um, the maker of the Ginsu knife there, Roger. You might recognize the initials. So we're we're testing out. Ooh, pepper burp. Ooh. We're testing out this knife. The only way you should know how to test out a knife, and that is cutting peppers, right? <clears throat> Ooh. All right. This one right now is about up to a three. The first one didn't make my eyes. I'm a huge pepper fan. Well, good. Deadhead. Uh, you'll like my channel then because most times when I get on here, I'm eating peppers and I'm juggling knives. What are the other knives? I can juggle. I get the retired knife out. I at least juggle two. If you juggle two, though, you just use one hand, right? E Money Shoes is up here. What's up, E Money Shoes? Ooh, ah, that's still rising. So, I tripped out e-money shoes today. I went to put something in one of the chats and said something about kicks. And I completely screwed up the sentence that I wanted to make. And he sent me back thinking like, huh? What, or what the heck? Uh, e-money shoes is all about tennis shoes, man. He's, his, his channel is all about different types of Jordans, things like that. So if you're into tennis shoes, collecting shoes, things like that, e-money shoes is definitely a place for you to go. Southern Farm and Kitchen. I left you a message today. I think it was today. Those blueberry donuts and that glaze. Oh my goodness. See, that's what I don't want. You guys uh, making that food and then I'm sitting there missing my lunch at work. A message. I don't know. I think I did. Not a message. I don't know what I did. So I need to go. My throw your own needs to be to go to bed. Dad won't take him. Y'all have a good night. Good night, Steph. Love you, Steph. Thanks for stopping by. So, wow, I'm up to about a four, guys. Um, wait till later. You're going to have burn again. Well, you know, I've said this before, Drew, but you haven't been here, so I'll explain it for those. But we all build up a tolerance in our mouth, right? Your mouth, your throat, everything gets used to burning. So the more peppers you eat, the more stuff you do, the more you get used to it. You still feel the burn, but the burn isn't as intense. And it doesn't put you into a fear mode where your fear that this burn's not going to go away. Fish in the mitten is here. What did I miss? What did you get? Uh, look at there. That'd be a good knife for filleting some fish, don't you think? We're doing pepper first, though. Red Curls is here. How you doing, Red Curls? That'd be a good. Brad makes them nice and sharp. If you got a dull knife, send it to Brad Muglot. He'll sharpen it right up for you. Burn in, burn out. Well, and again, going back to that conversation, the mouth burns. You also have a tolerance that you build up in your mouth. You also build up tolerance on the other end. You can Google it. You can look it up. Bottom line is at the end of the day, um, uh, the, the place where the peppers exit from builds up a tolerance as well. So not a point where it doesn't burn at all, but where it burns less. The first time you do a pe hot pepper and you pass that thing, it's going to burn. It's going to burn. But over a period of time, you actually build up a tolerance back there. So, hey, I've got a tolerance all the way around, you know. So, yeah, it's funny, right, Joe? Do <laughs> Joe W. Like, what? We got a tolerance? So, yeah, and we don't, and we don't do that by inserting. We, you know, one thing you'll notice about these peppers is I take a long time to chew the peppers. And one of the reasons why I take a long time to chew the peppers is because when you get rid of the peppers, 
You want the pieces to be as little as possible. That way they digest real good. And you're not pa- trying to pass big pieces of pepper. Mark's laughing at me too. So, so yeah, the littler, the more better you chew it up. Uh, fire hose is, Rob Schaller has got on there. Fire hose is still um, inserting. Oh my God, Phil, LOL. Well, I said not inserting, not inserting. So that's different. And fire hose is a real thing. You can eat enough peppers. And then when you take that first number one P, um, yeah, it can burn. American, it can burn pretty intense sometimes. And I don't know if there's definitely a tolerance for that. Texas Lottery Fun, how are you doing, man? Howdy all from Texas. Or they're strong in Texas. Have spit my coffee. <laughs> well, can't, you know, it is what it is, you know. I try to explain to people so everybody understands. And it's just, you know, I want everybody to know what's going on, right? You know, most people will eat a pepper. They'll burn for a minute or two, and then they're done. They're off, and they're off to lick their wounds and do whatever they got to do. I like the people that come to my channel to be informed about what's going on. Burn in, burn out, same burn. Hey, and if you got to pee, you know, hey, <laughs> you used to get you get used to spitting coffee here when you watch me, right, Sherry? Yeah. Not, no, I don't doubt it. So, all right. So, this has come down to about. I don't know, one, one and a half. We don't want it to go away. I can't breathe. I don't know what that got me tickled, but it did. Tickle your ass with a, never mind, feather. <laughs> Excuse me. See, you got me completely inappropriate now. It's completely inappropriate for me to say something like that, right? Where's the whole PG Timmy thing? This is where PG Timmy comes into play. So I'm now I'm completely inappropriate. You should never have said anything like that, but that's just who I am. Sorry. Oh, all right, so again, we're down to about, <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry, got more peppers to insert. Yeah, they're PG, Phil, there you go. Put that chili under your armpit, it feels good. Um, Nope, nope, not. I don't have a tolerance under there yet. I'm gonna pass on that. I'm probably have peppers about two weeks, Phil, and I'll be sending you a package. That's awesome, because if you send me a package of peppers, you send me a package of anything, it'll be on here, your name, talking about you and what you sent me, on a video. And of course, then that means people are going to come and see you. It's like people are going to go see Brad. You guys should go see Brad. Brad made a couple of awesome videos of people in the Circle K that thought they were chili heads or could handle peppers. You go check out Brad, you'll find two people on his thing that could not handle the ghost pepper and the scorpion pepper at the Circle K. Just saying. So, all right. So before this pain goes away or this heat goes away, uh, we're going to do something else. I've got something else here from Brad. Uh, Brad left this here the last time he was here. This is Brad's little guy. I call him Crazy Carlos. Brad doesn't call him anything. So, I don't know. Sam's Treasure Hunt is here. How you doing, Sam's Treasure Hunt? So, yeah, Brad doesn't call him anything, but very cool little guy. As a matter of fact, um, I think the first time I saw him in color was a picture that Brad sent me. So, let me, let me pull up my pictures here. Um... Do, 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 do. See if we see. Must be one I got directly from Brad. So here is Crazy Carlos in color. Now, Brad drew that himself. And he got his crayons out and he colored it himself. I don't know. Maybe Roger helped him fill it in until you can make some cool stickers with it. But isn't that not a cool sticker? I want a Crazy Cardo sticker. And I bet you all that like peppers want a Crazy Cardo sticker too. Now that sticker is also next to another sticker, which is the final course. But the Crazy Cardo sticker is cool. And Brad has some other drawings that he's done. Oh, Brad's got some other drawings that he's done, but on that Crazy Cardo the better. So, what we're going to do, um, the rest of you guys don't know what this is. This is called a gusher. And what a gusher is, is gusher is where we take a tincture. What a tincture is, is some type of alcohol. We soak uh, ground up peppers in it for months at a time. We, I haven't even done a tincture yet. We soak, we soak peppers in it for months at a time, shake up the jar, shake up the jar, shake up the jar, so all those peppers get diluted into the alcohol and make it burn. Blended whiskey. I like alcohol. 
no duh blended whiskey. The real Kima Kaor. How are you doing, the real Kima Kaor? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry, I mutilated your name. So what we're going to do is then you to make a gusher. You have to get a pepper. Let's try a red one. We haven't tried a red one yet. All right. Hot damn show. Health reason. Yeah, we know. Poor Roger. 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 Roger's on a mission right now to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. So Roger's going to do it. I know he is because that's just the kind of person Roger is. So Izzy P is here. What's up, Izzy? How you doing, brother? See, I remembered don't make so what we have here is a number i don't know a boot he's actually written it on here a boot something or other so he's written to, on small tape so it's a boot something or other all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top off of this oh let me show you this little ugly pepper i'm in padre let me show you this little ugly pepper isn't that ugly pepper beautiful we are going to fill this. We are going to cut it open first. Cut the top off. Now that I got the top cut off. Don't waste them. We now have an open pepper. Okay. So now what we do with the open pepper is I guess I'm protected the keyboard here, hopefully somewhat. Ralph Strucking is here. How you doing, Ralph Strucking? Now, if you guys are uh, all about networking and building your channels, Ralph Strucking is the guy you want to go check out. Uh, uh, Ralph Strucking is a great place to network. Uh, so, vacation is over. Ah, uh, that sucks. My vacation was over beginning of uh, March. I had two took two weeks off. Got, went on a cruise and everything. Ron Boots Farm is here. What's up, man? Oh, you've been here. Sorry. So now we will take. I don't know if you can see this. I don't want to. I don't want to get on the keyboard here, but we're going to. It's not coming out too easily. It's coming out. Oh, there we go. Squirt. All right, hold on a second. There we go. I don't clog it. All right, so we have put quite a bit of the tincture in here. So here we go. Sherry, you going to bed? Night, sweetheart. Have a good night after this. <laughs> so here's our uh, here's our gusher of the unknown boot pepper or butt pepper, as some people call it. R.I.P. Phil. Thank you, Cat. At least she wants me to rest in peace. Is that your stomach growing? <laughs> Growling. Well, I hope not. I think it was just a car. Anyways, down the hatch. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got to chew it up real good. All right. We still have this knife over here to the side to where I can't hurt myself so we don't hurt ourselves so easy you have lost your mind i didn't have my mind to begin with what's up k k noodles uh, wow like the stream well thank you ralph i do my best i just you know what i, I, I be myself i be myself i be myself and i just yeah good english right that's in my good high school education. Or maybe it had something to do with the Marine Corps. I don't know. Too much gunpowder smell. Uh, smell kind of messed up my mind. Timmy and I just finished painting the kids' play set in the backyard. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Those things can be tedious. And, of course, the sun bakes that stuff. So you got to gotta do it twice. And you got to make sure all that wood is dry. And uh, I got to redo my back deck, but it ain't happening. I don't know if it happened this year. It's just, man, you got to have two or three days. <clears throat> He's got capsaicin in his veins. No, my actually, my mouth is burning right now. I think I was on one side right now. Lord, man. Whew. So, yeah, the combination of the hottest thing I've put in my mouth so far, bad connection. 
<laughs> Joe W. hasn't been here before, but that's exactly right, Joe. I've got this thing. Oh, if you've been watching my videos before you came in, then you know, right? Because, uh, again, if it's hot, I grunt. Uh, I do that. I don't know. It's a, it's a throat burn, I guess. So it's just what I do. I can't quit doing it. I, what I need to do is I need to do a video where I do a pepper. The challenge is, the challenge is not to grunt, right? Rots one. What's up, man? How are you doing, Rots? <clears throat> wow. All right. We're letting this, uh, we're going to let this calm down a little bit before we do anything else. I do have some more peppers here. If you're just getting here and you haven't hit the thumbs up button yet, that'd be great. Uh, if you haven't hit the bell and you like, no connections. But, well, uh, whew, I think where everybody else is connected. So whew. Whew, we're going to go live tonight, but we're covered stain. Ah, yeah, you want to get cleaned up. Well, I actually had some fingernail polish on my hand the other night. <clears throat> so, wife left the top off the fingernail polish. And I grabbed a hold of the thing and wound up with fingernail polish all over my hand as I'm getting the middle finger right now. Because she joined me. Connie, come on over here. I got the finger again. See? <clears throat> so, yeah, that pepper combination with the tincture. <sighs> it's got my eyes watering. Pretty good. So that's a good burn. <clears throat> How's your deck going, Phil? Um, again, my back deck, nothing's going with my back deck. The front deck, this has been done. My, <laughs> my front deck is now half covered with peppers, or pepper plants, I should say. So, uh-huh. My wife pulled some of them out. Of the See, we have people, family coming over this weekend. A lot of them. Some of them are staying here. So my grow room with my peppers, I had to get, to had to get converted back to a bedroom. Uh, just no fun. No fun whatsoever. Uh, so that means all of my peppers. Oh, the deck. The deck the other day that we were building, I was just helping Roger. Uh, that's my uh, mother-in-law's house. I was just showing that I'm a jack of all trades. I was out there uh, helping my brother-in-law put the stringers on. My wife's actually put a lot more work on that deck than I have. So on top of the fact that she works and takes care of the house and the kids and, you know, keeps me out of trouble the best she can. Um, Coin Collector Ohio, how are you doing? Good to see you here, man. Whew. Man, I'm back up to 20 people. You're just coming in. Hit the like. Uh, click the thumbs up. Whew. Yeah, the mouth is burning good. Dang, I got the kids' dinner out, came back, Phil's burning burn up. Yeah, well, I really haven't quit. I let it get down a little bit, and then we kick it, turn it back up again. So, one thing about uh, a tincture is sometimes a tincture, you got stuff inside your belly that can actually go around the stuff in your belly. So, I can feel a tincture inside where I don't know the peppers because the peppers land on top of the food that I got in there, which is, has some bread and stuff in it. Tell your wife I said hello, spicy. Coin Collector Ohio says hello, Kenny. She says hello. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I almost want to take a drink. I almost want to take a drink. But water isn't going to do a whole lot out here. So and I'm no wussy, so I'm not going to take a drink. Arlington near Fort Worth. Okay. So Ron Boots wanted to farm wanted to know where Texas live. Okay, we got it. I'm reading. I'm reading. I'm reading backwards. Ice cream. No ice cream. Although I do have ice cream in the fridge. Uh, I might do a, particularly a little ice cream before I go to bed. Just when I do that, it's to make sure I don't get woke up a couple hours later. Because sometimes that happens. Uh, true sass is here. How you doing? True sass. It sounds like my daughters. I got three daughters that are true sass. They know how to sass. Um how you doing, True Sass? So, yeah, sometimes I'll just do the ice cream at night. My oh, wife's looking at me funny. True Sass, it must have, must have something to do with the name, your name or the fact that both all three of my daughters are a little sassy. I don't know. He says girls are sassy. <laughs> Coin Collector Ohio, I hope you are having a great night. I have a heartburn from ghost pepper ramen noodles. 
yeah, that'll happen. Uh, okay, to be Mansfield. Okay, Mansfield, Texas. All right. So now this burn is starting to go, starting to decelerate a little bit. Whew. Excuse me, folks. Whew. Wow, that was hot. I saw one of my um, YouTube friends, nobody here, have to blow their nose one day, and they blew their nose off camera but came back, and there was something still on their face. So that's why I always try to make sure there ain't nothing coming back. Yes, sir, just got to 287, LOL. All right, so a lot of new friends in here. I see all these gray people. So I appreciate all my new friends, uh, a lot of people that I've picked up with in the past few days. It's great seeing you guys here. I'm not done yet. Not done yet. We're still burning here. So, but I can still feel it. Whoops up all. So, but at this point, what have we had? We've had, um, we had three peppers. One of the peppers was a gusher. Ooh, this is a nice big pepper. Another number two. We don't need another number two. We already had a number two. Spicy, spicy. We appreciate you. Is that what you're saying? Uh, Greg's saying? Is your point up? Or is there something else? I'm always testing my challenge for my family when they give me money, when they challenge me. Always testing my challenges for my family. They give me money when they challenge me. So that's kind of how you guys do it, huh? So kind of a money thing where, um, I don't know, I'm trying to understand that. So you do hot challenges. Oh, I appreciate you too. Okay, then you were pointing up to Greg saying, okay, I just try to figure out what you're trying to say, man. All right. Oh, man. That's what I plucked out of here. I haven't had one of these yet. Oh. That's a number 13. I can tell you what a 13 is because there were plenty of them in this box, which is now a bag. Number 13. Eat that sucker. Check out number 13 on the list. Tell me what number 13 is. Someone put it in the um, chat, number 13. You can just go by what's in the parentheses. That's good enough. Scorpion. Now where's the Scorpion King? Scorpion King was in there earlier. Where you at Scorpion? You still here? See, it's your time. Hey, Miss D Rain. It's your time now, Scorpio. Where are you at? Sorry, I can't spell worth up. <laughs> there you are. Izzy got the whole thing. Izzy P. I love that little emoji thing guy you got. Not emoji, a thumbnail guy you got. I can't stream for 30 days. Oh, man, that sucks. I think it said death. <laughs> no, it didn't say death, Ron. It might be death for some people. No, it wouldn't be death for anybody. It would just be extremely excruciating, painful for some people. Big Red, what's up, man? How you doing, Big Red? Oh, wow. So, Big Red, we are getting ready to do a number 13. So, so if you didn't already see this, a number 13 on my list is a SRTSL Scorpion, which sometimes looks like this, which actually these are pretty vulgar-looking peppers. Uh, it looks like a little pepper that hasn't been circumcised, right? What does that mean? I don't know what the S, I don't know. I probably have to look it up or have to actually have to get a hold of Brian Townsend, uh, AKA death. Okay. <laughs> That's what the SRL, death scorpion. Doesn't that look vulgar, that little, and it, and it hooks to the, it hooks to the right. So now it really makes it vulgar, right? <laughs> all right so we'll open this one up too what the heck right we're opening them all up today because you know what we got the world's sharpest knife right it's a little rubbery you ever see how rubbery that is no it's not rubber all right remember when you did that as a kid with a pencil and you wiggle the pencil and made it with pencil never mind i see you see the capsaicin is getting to my head that's what it is. A capsaicin is getting to my head. 
Ah, Higgs Rock Farm. What's up? A right leaner. Right. Exactly. Right. It's hooked. It's hooked to the hooked. Hooked. Right. Sarah R. Trinidad Scorpion Long. Well, there you go. Sarah R. Trinidad Scorpion Long. There we go. Thank you, Roger. So we are going to remove the stem. Oh, man. We are going to open up the Sarah R. Trinidad Scorpion Long with our fancy knife, our handcrafted utility knife. And again, we will show that there are oils on the knife. Hey, put this over here so I don't hurt myself. It's, it's getting that time of night where I get dangerous. Looks like a dog private part. So yeah. I guess if you're looking at dog private part, you know, right there, it kind of looks like a turtle coming out of its shell, like a little head, like a little snapper turtle. Coming to snap you. Anyways, there, there I go again. Uh, Foxy's Creations by Brenda DiMartino. How are you doing? If you're new, subscribe, hit the bell, like, share, guys. Hey, share this out. Uh, we keep getting new and more people in here, not more people. They keep replacing some people with other people. If you share this out, we get all sorts of people in here, and uh, you get new people to socialize with, new people to connect with. Lovely P is here. How are you doing, Lovely P? Ooh. So this is the dog wiener. I mean, this is the uh, scorpion pepper, uh, Lovely P, that I will be eating. Um, again, we will show the inside. See, Lovely P just got here. She's like, huh, what the heck is he talking about? Um, and we will show you the placenta inside this pepper. Since we opened it up. And the white placenta part is what makes it hot, not the seeds. But the seeds get the pepper from the... Doing good. How are you? Yeah, so, sorry, Foxy. Just, yeah, I am. Um, all right. So, without further ado, we will eat this is what now? Pepper number four. Serving more burgers tomorrow. Cheese or no cheese? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Okay, right, here we go. Gobble, gobble, gobble. I want four peppers to go. Ah. Good stuff, man. Higgs Rock Farm. I just broke out into a sweat just watching. I haven't started sweating yet. I think I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little moist up here. I know people, some people hate that word, moist. Uh, but I have a little perspiration going on, but that's partially from the hat, partially from being outside, partially from the peppers. How many grunts does that get? Now we'll see. Right now, I'm really not feeling a lot of steam from it. To be honest with you, um, the last pepper I had will seem to be hotter than that, but why can't you sweat like me? Roger, you sweat before you start eating the peppers. Um, of course, I've got something to protect my head. It's called hair. Zeus, the greedy husky. Hello from South Africa. We have Zeus, the greedy husky is here. How are you doing, man? Thumbs up. Everybody say hi to Zeus, the greedy husky. Beautiful, beautiful dog. If you haven't seen uh, been to Zeus, the greedy husky's site, that is one beautiful, beautiful dog. South African Husky. I don't know how that matters, but <laughs> I know I don't usually get to see Zeus because of the time difference. Happy Colorado Homestead. How are you doing? Well, you you missed me eating my fourth pepper. The last one, if you rewind it, looked like a um, snapping turtle. Did we all come to an agreement on that? That the only way to make that not vulgar looking thing was to say it was like a snapping turtle, right? Not like anything vulgar on circumstances. No, none of that. Okay, all right. We'll we'll stick with the uh, red snapper. There you go. <laughs> I am digging some um, of the stuff out of my. See, now you push your tongue around the inside of your mouth, trying to get those seeds and stuff out. It, <clears throat> it kind of stretches your skin, 
and allow some more of the oils and stuff to get into your toe. So it kind of makes that part of your tongue hot. Peppers, damn, I missed it. Oh, you didn't miss it. Zeus, the night is still young. So I am sure there is a pepper in your future. I stand in the garden eating banana peppers in solidarity. <laughs> Higgs rock farm, I will keep it G or go, could I go crazy with that one? <laughs> oh my goodness. My in Thailand, high Higgs rock. Zeus the Greedy Husky, it's 5 a.m. here in South Africa. Does that mean you're up late or you're up early? Zeus. Ooh. I call you Zeus. That's the dog's name, but still. Ooh. Okay. That pepper didn't start off. Bits. The bits and pieces in my mouth getting mi mixed around and pushed around. Hot. Just go up to start my day. Just got up to start your day. Well, what a better way to start your day than with some peppers, right? Yeah, my alarm's gonna go off at 5 a.m. and it's 11 o'clock now almost here in uh, Lapeer, Michigan. They call it lovely Lapeer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it is, it's a nice area. It's a rural area. Hot Sauce Junkie Tim is here. What's up, Tim? Did you get all cleaned up? Man, I'm beat. Sounds like it. Uh, Kate was telling me you guys were out paint, painting the kids' playset, and I would imagine it was probably pretty hot because you guys are there in Wisconsin, and we're supposed to get pretty hot temperatures tomorrow, which are the temperatures you got today. So you're probably out there in almost 90 degree heat, uh, painting that playset. My guess. Oh, ooh, I can feel a, oh, I can feel a gut burn coming. Woo, PG Timmy. Yeah, that is our PG Timmy, that's Hot Sauce Junkie Tim. He is, his wife is the originator of the original PG Timmy. So, and if you guys haven't checked out, anybody that um, is in here cleaning up from Sandy, my kids' place, it looks like murdered someone with all the stain that dropped all over me. So, yeah, I know the feeling. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever stained or done anything like that without getting it all over me. Bottom line is, is uh, you, you start off trying to be as careful as you can so you don't get it on you. And then by the end, you're just trying to get the dang job done. And you wind up with it on your clothes, your shoes, your your, your shorts that you didn't want to get it on, your shirt. That's how it works, man, right? We're impatient. Just want to be done with it. Wow. All right. Right. David Smith is here. Late to the party as usual. No, I'm not as usual. How you doing, David Smith? But I made it. Hey, thanks for showing up, David Smith. Uh, so let's, everybody, let's, uh, let, let's tell David what he has missed. I'm on my fourth or fifth pepper. One of the peppers was filled with tincture. Um, we got a new knife. Look at this, David. Is this not cool? A handcrafted Brad Muglot special. Auto Salvage Outlaws. How are you doing, man? Look at that. Look at that wood handle. Last time I saw wood that hard, it was in a porno. Oh, that's a PG moment. Sorry. Sorry, PG, Timmy. Anyways, sorry. I'm supposed to be PG. Sorry. 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 See, the endorphins are getting to me. The endorphins are getting to me. Darren Lechman. How are you doing, Darren? All right. We'll set this down again before I hurt myself. Keep me and my wife in your prayers. My daughter was murdered. Huh? Dude, <clears throat> what do I say to that? Sorry, man. Um, yeah. Whew. That's tough. I'm going to take a minute, guys. Sorry to hear that, man. 
I'm fine, Roger. Auto salvage outlaws just gave some bad news. So I just I don't wanna I don't wanna elaborate on it. I don't wanna ask any questions. There is prayers going out to you and your wife and the rest of your family, I'm sure with grandparents and everything else involved. So sorry to hear that. Um the, David Smith says, with a knife sent by someone here. Yes, it was. I don't believe Brad is still on here, but Brad Muglot, that's those his initials. Uh, he made the knife by hand. So that was my pepperhead brother. Yes, we are. You, me, Roger, um, Brad, and we're getting all sorts of Mark, Jeremy, uh, Peppers in Kentucky living. I think we're like the three or four closest. You, me, Roger, and Brad are uh, pretty tight. Although, you know what? I've, I haven't met you yet, Tim, in person because I screwed up going, being able to go to uh, Chicago. But there goes my son. He's headed off to work. So, Ooh, all right. So, again, prayers go out to you guys, uh, Auto Salvage Outlaws, and your family. So, all right. So, oh, of course, let's not forget Greg Lemon. Greg's one of our good brothers and uh we all got this little message board thing that a bunch of us are on so when one of us goes live we can all see and support one another uh ron lafleur how are you prayers to you or family auto salvage outlaws yes prayers 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 dang bugs all right i think this is going to be my last pepper i want to give out one more um we had one of those that one is rock top's gone. So I'll just throw that out in the yard and let it I wrote the What's that? It stopped me in my tracks. Happy Colorado home side. I have so much family serving in these settings. And wait, you know. Okay. Um, I'll do another number sixteen, and then we'll end this. Um, Jesus, number two, what's number? Here's a number one. What was the number one? We haven't had one of those. Maruga Brown. Let's try a Maruga Brown, shall we? Um, ah, we are all family, so lean on us, Otto. Gotcha, man. Oh, my he served in Afghan once, Iraq twice, and was medically retired in 2013. Got you covered. Definitely auto salvage. Thank you, guys. Again, auto salvage, you know, hey, I don't know what to say, you know. Um, it's, it's, it's horrible. That is, uh, I know, man. I know you didn't. You got to have outlets for yourself too, man. You got to, I know uh, nothing, you know, really helps right now, but if for 10 seconds you can take your mind off of your misery uh, and me doing stupid stuff here helps you in any way, shape, or form, you know, hey, you know, I'm here. We're here. We're all here, man. Um, I'm sure you can reach out to anybody in this thread or this chat. And, uh, you know, none of us ever want something like that to happen in our family. I got six kids, and I hope I never have to bury one of my kids. Uh, very, very, um, yeah, very sad. <sighs> sad thing to have happen. Right. There's, I mean, what do you, I, I don't know what to say to any of this, right? What eat this last? Yes, it helps you know, to come here and see support. Thank you, guys. Can we eat this for you? Hug your kids and tell them you love them.
try to tell my kids whenever I can I love them. I know people that have a hard time. Um, bottoms up, Mr. Phil. R.I.P. Oh, did someone say something? R.I.P. R.I.P. my butthole. I got you. Right. Oh, well, I just had a little of that come back up. Ooh. So here we have a groovy looking pepper. No, oh, Phil. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is number one. Number one on our list. You can see that. A Maruga Brown. Ooh, that is hot. It says all this outlaws. All right. So let's. I think this is going to be, man, I've, and I've only got two left. This has got to be my last one, man. I, I can't lose a bunch of sleep tonight because I get acid reflux or anything. I don't think I will, but, again, that looks to death on the stem. So look at it. Would you, would you look at it? That's one crazy-looking pepper. Fair, seriously, get the ranch. Sherry McMillan is back. Are you nice and shower? Are you are, are you covered up, Sherry? You are you are back and covered up, right? I know you just took a shower. At least it don't look like a dog's private parts. Yeah, I don't know what that looks like. Anybody got an idea? It looks good. Yes, looks warm, Phil. Fugly pepper. Yep, the fuglier the better, right? What could that be? What does that look like? Well, maybe if we turn it this way, it looks like something different. Texas Worldwide or Tech Worldwide? How are you, Texas Worldwide? I can read I'm a smart Foxy's creations. Hi, Sherry. Well, come on. What does that look like? Yeah. You cut the top bottom off. You cut the top. Oh, never mind. Terrible year trying to grow pop peppers. Wet, wet, wet year. Yeah, mine. Some of my plants are really taken off, but I don't have anything called that pepper anus. <laughs> oh, we can go ahead and show that. Okay. Well, or, or someone delete it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about that, Ron. No problem. <laughs> uh, Chest Crystal. How are you, Chest Crystal? So, yeah, we're going to eat this funky-looking pepper. So what we're going to do first is, again, we're going to cut another one open, right? That's what, the, that's what the knife's for. Hey, might as well give the knife back to Brad if we're not going to cut open the peppers, right? Brad, are you still here by chance? I'm going to guess no, because I haven't seen you, you comment in a while. So, another oil. I keep doing the same thing over and over. Another oily pepper. Another seed stuck to the knife. We'll put, we'll put this over here in a safe spot. It's safe space. And another pepper. I think that's what I got, but it's not turned yet. No, he is working. Yeah, but usually he does something for like 20 minutes and then he comes back. Noif. Yeah, that's not a knife. This is a knife. Yeah, made by my buddy Brad Muglot. Handcrafted. Um, all on his own. So, very cool knife. So, Sherry laughing at my uh, cro crocodile Dundee. What's well, not a knife? This is a knife. That's, that's, that's a knife. That's an impression. I might do a better horse call. We won't, we won't get into that tonight. So, there is our inside of our peppers. I just... Drop a pepper seed on my daughter's computer. There we go. Big old seed. Maybe that'll fall down in between the cracks of the deck. And I'll have peppers growing up like Jack and the Beanstalk from under my deck. And it'll, never mind. I was about, yeah, never mind. Um, you scratch off that knife would send you crying for a corner and hot pepper pain. It would. I mean, I tell you what, all this other stuff going on, you get a little bit of this in your eye. You know, touch the inside of this pepper, get a little bit around the corner of your eyes, rub your nose, rub any part of your face with any kind of pepper juice. And man, that part of your face is going to be burning. It could be burning for an hour or more. I've done it. I've done it. I've gotten, man, I'm dropping seeds here. I've gotten um, 13 million Scoville capsaicin crystals in my eye. Been there, done that. Hey, there's Roger. You're good now, Roger. Yeah, bring up burning your eyeballs out of your head. And uh, Roger suddenly appears. <laughs> Roger goes and put pure capsaicin on his elbow and then wipes his sweat and whatnot because he just came back from and then right in his eyeball. So I think that's one of the only times I've actually heard Roger curse <laughs> on camera anyways. So 
All right, guys, here's what we're doing. This is our number one. Our number one is the Maruga Brown. Here we go. Your lips are burning. Come on, Cap. Mm. Sympathy burn. Thank you. No. <clears throat> Back of the throat. You know what would be really good right now? A nice blueberry donut with some glaze on it. You know where I can get some of those, um, Cat? I get hiccups bad when I eat thing, these things. You know what's funny is um, I, a lot of people that I know that have hot stuff, uh, sure do in my kitchen. <laughs> when they get something really hot, is they get those hiccups. You still on? LOL. Yeah, I keep talking about this magnificent knife that I got from my one of my best friends ever. And uh, <clears throat> I told, should I tell them about the wood? No, I won't tell you about the wood. Anyways, um, blueberry donut with glaze. Mm, sounds so, do a mission later. If you want to see a blueberry donut with glaze, check out Southern Farming Kitchen. I think that's her latest video. There she goes. I made them today. He is talking about my video. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Southern Farming Kitchen, for sure. I was talking about it earlier. He might have remembered what I was saying earlier. <clears throat> wow. All right. So that's burning pretty good in the mouth. <clears throat> right now we're at about a three. We're going to see how... Um, that knife has Civil War vibe. Really cool, isn't it? Though, show it again. I like the fact that the blade is the color that it is, like gunmetal, or you know, not all shiny and chrome and everything else. Has a rustic look to it. But you can tell he took a lot of time to craft that handle the way he did. Look at that! Isn't that awesome? It's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. I hope he loves what he does. 30 and hating it. What's up? I'm 51 and hating it. No, I'm not. Not really. That's the writer's creed. How are you, man? Catfish is back. <sighs> the right hand to do. Yeah, well, my eyes are running again. Got another another uh, pepper down. Whew. I acid dipped the blade to give it that color. Oh, you did. Very cool because that is, uh, that is cool looking. Whew. I'm going to grab a different paper towel. Just so we don't cross contaminate it, that knife might be not be from the Civil War, but it might be used in the upcoming second Civil War. Eh? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Yep, that's a, that's a good burner. I am sure he loves what he does very much to create a knife like that. Yeah, when you, uh, when you got the talent to do stuff like that, you do enjoy it. If you didn't enjoy it, I used to make things. Not things like that, but I used to make things out of wood. And when I was doing it, I really enjoyed it. Matter of fact, I make some of the American flags I got hanging out here out of wood. And when I was doing it, I really enjoyed it. It was <sighs> Whew, huh. I got a uh, I got a a spike there on heat all of a sudden. Something out of my tooth. Whew. I know you can't see real great because the glare, my glasses. Yeah, we're good without the ranch. I haven't even touched the water yet. The only thing in the liquid I've had is Brad's tincture, which doesn't help. So, Gemma Harvey, how are you doing? Love crafting. See, you find something that you love, you just do it because you love doing it. Yeah, that's hot. That's got mouth burn, throat burn. Yep, that last one is good. Last one is real good. Cool. And I keep getting these little pains down deep in my bowels, down 
in the bottom of my stomach. So I keep wondering if it's starting to bypass the food. Of course, the food was eaten 10 o'clock. So I should still be good. Ooh. Dude's torturing himself on camera for our enjoyment. Ah! I enjoy torturing myself for your enjoyment. Uh. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Catfish is saying those wings on the video haunted them till 7 a.m. Well, I had, what, what haunted me till 7 a.m.? Nemesis. I did Nemesis around 5 o'clock and I uh, was up doing everything I could not to get the cramps. Got cramps here and there. I don't think it was till 7 a.m. that I finally was able to get some rest on a Sunday. So, oh yeah, I'm feeling that. Ooh, a lot of peppers. So yeah, I, we talked about this earlier. There will be some ice cream in my uh, near future. Just to make sure I can get some sleep. Good thing I don't have to be to work early tomorrow. I don't have to worry about hot, hot, hot being anywhere specific on a morning. So, Whew. wow, good burn. 54 likes. If anybody's new and hadn't hit the thumbs up, that'd be cool if you did. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'm assuming everybody here is subscribed. But if you're not, that'd be awesome if you hit subscribe. Your poor wife, toot. Yeah. The peppers really don't make me fart. Other things make me um, scared, too. Um, other things do. The peppers, usually, there's nothing that comes from that. So, but the worst thing is probably, for me, is uh, chicken and broccoli and or when you cook onions you with the oil and stuff. Um, that's usually stewed onions or something like that. That's usually what will give me the most gas. I can't handle anything, everything, then jalapeno. So, yeah, jalapenos, um, you know, a good jalapeno has got a good burn to it. There's too many jalapenos out there that aren't good jalapenos. You grow a good jalapeno, and you eat it a day or two after you, a, a good jalapeno will still have a good burn to it. Won't have a burn like what I've got in mine, but will still have a good burn to it. I can eat hot peppers when I will regret for extra days. I had to quit getting older sucks. Tell me about it, Higgs Rock Farm. Of course, I started doing this once I got older, right? So, uh, again, outside of a habanero, my first hot, really hot pepper was about three months ago. So, I had done, you know, challenges that had hot peppers in them. So I was ground up into powder and things like that. But I hadn't done anything um, as far as actually taking a pepper like I've been doing for you guys, other than habaneros and jalapenos. I wasn't even doing jalapenos on cam camera, just doing habaneros on camera. Um, but those I was doing gushers, so I was selling those with hot sauce. Um, I know I've said this before, Barefoot Adventures, how you doing, man? But uh, when it was negative 35 wind chill, I was out here on my front porch out there in the snow in my boots and my boxer briefs doing four habanero gushers, um, uh, in negative 30 degree weather. So <laughs> just for my own entertainment. So, yeah, I might have recorded it and shared it with the rest of the people out there. Remember, you go far enough back in my videos, you can see that ridiculousness of me uh, in my boxer briefs. Not a, not a sexy moment by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, it's just, again, it's who I am, right? I love any, any sweet thing, Southern Farms and Kitchen. I love hot sauce, or Higgs Rock Farm, or hot sauces. Yeah, I didn't bring any hot sauces out here with me tonight. Uh, I did bring tincture. I did bring some peppers. Um, is Sherry still in here? I, I do like Sherry's. Um, Sherry makes a nice hot sauce. Ah, uh, we got Carmen in here. How you doing, Carmen? I I try not to mess up the rest of that name, so I just call her Carmen because for him, Carmen. I don't know. Carmen, are you a him or a her? I would assume a her, but I can't be 100% sure. Yeah, cramps bad at 4.30, and most of the wings came through my nose, 6.41. Never get that burn like that fire. I'm making a taco flavor right now. Very good. Yeah, catfish. Um, I had um, 
I, last time I did this many peppers, not too long ago, um, I got acid reflux like two hours after I went to bed and woke up going, because it just, my fire, but luckily I keep water by this, but I haven't done that long time. So don't think you can ask that anymore. Oh, barefoot. <laughs> I don't know what are, I, I think I know what you're talking about. I'm joking, LOL, but I think, yeah, you know what you're talking about. So <laughs> him or her, right. All right. So, well, I thought, you know, never mind, Greg. <laughs> I, know, I know what you're talking about now. So, all right. So we've done that. We've got 22 people in the room. Uh, anybody who have any questions? Okay, Phil, bedtime. I am too old to hang with you. Night all. Good night, Kat. Kat. If in case you didn't know, Southern Farming Kitchen. Her name is her nickname is Cat. It's Catherine, I believe, and she goes by Cat. So you hear me talking about Cat. Nineteen away, my friends. Barefoot Adventures is nineteen away from a goal. So I'm offended you have to eat another pepper. <laughs> I'm not eating any more peppers tonight. I can I. I can I can feel those peppers in my uh, in my belly and they're gonna play havoc with me tonight. I gotta feel Catherine or Kathy or Mama. <laughs> so everybody say good night to Cat, guys. I with twenty people in here, I'd love to stay up all night with you, but I have got to go to bed. And now I'm gonna go now. When I turn this computer off, we're we're gonna go we're gonna go. Um, Raid somebody. When I turn this computer off, it is going to go on back inside the house. I am going to get some ice cream, and I am going to be back on the computer on someone's site while I'm kind of winding down for the night. But I have to start the winding down process because at some point I got to do this. And I want to get some ice cream in my belly before um, don't be a stranger. I won't. I am live. No one in my chat. All right. Well, here you go. There, um, someone. Put up Sherry's link. <laughs> Someone put, put pull up Sherry's link. Anybody available to do that? Anybody know how to do that? Go to Sherry McMillan and uh, put her link in our chat. And everybody will go right here from here. We'll go over and check out Sherry McMillan. So if one of my mods would uh, share that link, that'd be great. Well, you were going to raid me, but it's too late. Now, if you're still on, good night, Phil. See you all at Sherry's. There it is, Uncapped Films. So there's our link. So everybody, thanks for coming by. I love you all. Keep it spicy and keep Auto Salvage Outlaws family in your prayers. Night.